Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Kali Linux on any Windows PC. So, let's get in. So, for that, we need to make our pen drive bootable for Linux. After you make Penrod bootable for installation, now another step is to insert it into your PC and go to a boot menu. So let's go. So now I have inserted my pen drive into the port. So let's start the computer. Now select your flash drive and this kind of the screen will appear now select graphical installation or you can install directly from no graphics and you can also install it using sorry through speech recognition okay so I'm gonna use graphical installation so it will it will take a little bit of time but don't worry about that. So as you can see, so select your preferred language, my one is English and your location as I'm to I'm in the United States and select your key map to use American English now. At this time you need to eject your pen drive. Okay, you need to eject your pen drive for about five to eight seconds and then insert back into your laptop or PC then press enter again and press enter again continue detect and mount as you can see the installation has found my pen drive and now it's installing the system into the after. So it will take some time but if you have such media available insert it now. So I don't have any media right now so no continue. Okay so if you have such media no continue again. can see it's too easy to install Cloud Linux in your Windows PC. By the way I'm going to install Cloud Linux fully in this hard drive so I'll be erasing all the hard drive and installing it very new. So continue again. So don't configure network at this time. Uh, if you want to configure, you can configure, but I'm not. So continue again. Yeah, continue again. So root password. Okay, you can have your password here. So I'll be I'll be skip this section. So now I have inserted my password. So continue again. So you can select any time. It's for you not any time you can select your specific time zone so I'm continuing with Eastern there I don't want to make any changes by default okay so this is the main part so as I ordered tool I'm gonna use whole of my drive as you can see it's about 4 and it's about 500 GB right there so I'm gonna select all this partition and go on that yes so now press and continue and create a new partition 
continue there so continue again primary you, you can do both you can go with primary also and logical also so whatever you like I'll be going to default one so yeah and to boot your system there should be this forward slash otherwise it won't boot your system there so don't setting up the partition continue there and now finish partition and write to the disk select this option and then continue again so if you don't want, okay so I don't want to go to the back so I already have configured all the system so continue fresh sorry select the no and continue there write changes to disk yeah select yes and continue okay now the installation process has begun uh, I think it will take around the five minutes to fully install so mm, so till then I think this I don't want to make this video long so till then I will be pausing the video see you after it get fully installed now select your network mirror so at this time I'm okay I don't need a network mirror so continue there again so the installation process has almost done so now so wait for some time okay it will install group loader okay without this Linux will not operate or even it operates we don't have a doorway to get inside the Linux so it is very important to install bootloader and yes go and continue there and select on interdix manually continue with interdix manually let's continue device for bootloader installation so here so in this case we have a first hard drive okay whatever it is say you can go to you just copy this there okay and now you can paste it right there and continue then okay it's, it will install the bootloader to hold of your hard drive so it may take some time so I think I should pause the video here and I'll show you guys after it gets up to so now it's the final process and it's finishing the installation right now take some time so I'm gonna pause this also so it so that the video will not get long okay now as you can see installation has complete so now press and continue so let's wait until it's finished so now you can see the installation has finished so here we go bootloader so press enter again so now you have finished the installation successfully and if you have gone through this way so you are now log into your Kali Linux successfully so now you can see the first menu so don't be confused with this username because uh, Kali Linux has two verification one is their username and with the password so as it is a Kali Linux the default username will be root so type 
root and then press enter now password is what you have previously set so I will be typing my password so here we here it goes my password so now we'll be first booting into uh, Kali Linux okay here we go now you can see you have completely or successfully installed Kali Linux on your Windows PC here we can go terminal also okay you can type some command type ls okay so everything is kind of working fine clear okay ex exit so that's for today's video and we'll continue doing this kind of videos and further on other videos also and if you like my videos please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll be posting such kinds of videos on later later on and i hope you like my videos and so see you on next video thanks for watching once again see you